Hello and welcome to Basic Go. Today we're going to study another uh, three three point joseki. So in this case, last time we studied this shoulder hit to keep uh, black down, press down. But let's imagine the today that the white wants to develop the side, either the side or the top. So white uh, will approach uh, a large knight's move away. So this puts emphasis, of course, on developing the side and also it's very influential, it's being high towards the center. There are different ways that black can respond. The most common one is this one with a knight's move. And from here, uh, white needs to make some sort of position because if black were to play uh, some sort of uh, move here around this area, White would be severely attacked. So White needs to move, make some position. There are different moves that can be considered. Uh, this one is common, making a sort of position. It's not really a base per se, because a base would be on the third line. Uh, this is open, more open on the bottom. But uh, it is a position, creating some... Now Black cannot really play here to attack this group, so it has more space. Or this also is a very common move. Uh, you know, this this position does leave the possibility possibility of white invading. So we're not going to go into that right now. The idea is that uh, if you play this after black and closes the corner, you have to somehow develop this area, either with this move or with this move. After this move. Black has some uh, development potential around in the, at the top. There are many other ways of responding other than this uh, knight's move. Um, this is not even the most common one. Uh, the most common one may be this one. Uh, the problem with this one is that it, it, it is a little bit thinner. After white responds and creates uh, some sort of position for herself, later she can play at this point. If she gets to play here first, of course, then that's, uh, there's a really, a really serious invading point here. So that would mean that black will have to defend these, this position with another move. So this would be sente, this play. Uh, if, white doesn't, uh, if black doesn't defend here, white can come and invade here. And then black has, has to do something to avoid being disconnected. Um, black cannot really play here because now black is separated, divided, and this is not good at all. Black is going to have a hard time settling this group. It's being attacked. Um, so black will have to somehow connect to the stone. The problem is that at any moment, whenever white wants to, white can connect back to this stone. It doesn't have to be now, by the way. Uh, white uh, may want to play here first and black has to connect because otherwise black uh, white will play here herself and ripping apart these two stones which is not good at all so black uh, basically will have to respond and then white can even go into the corner and erode the corner before connecting here so black here ends up with no base basically um, and that's you know troublesome black could play here do this first, but it's, it's difficult because not only white has taken away black's territory, which is not that important, but white has taken away black's base, which is much more important. Another way of responding for black would be to do this two space jump to the side, and black will respond the same way, either here or here or even... Uh, up here higher. Um, so after this, uh, both groups are more or less settled. Just keep in mind that black is lower. So black was at the third line beginning and still at the third line. So black is lower. And finally, remember that black was first here in the corner. White, white came and approached. So black uh, finishes the Joseki having sent it. This just like is considered even. Black has some territory and a base, and white has some influence on the side. 
Okay, that's it for today. See you next time.